So here we're talking about the CloudBit module and this is basically a module that lets you easily connect uh, the internet to something and create some functionality that can either do something based on some action taken in the internet or to get notification of something that happens here with your CloudBit. So the CloudBit basically has a processor, there's a button and a light to help uh, aid in getting it set up, and there's a Wi-Fi module here. And the way they've designed the CloudBit is that there's magnetically attachable modules such as this button, and here is a LED. These are the most important modules just for getting started, and uh, then there is a power module here that uh, feeds power to the uh, cloud bit as well. So you always have the blue power module, always has to be included. And uh, there, the magnets are such that they can only be connected the proper way, which uh, really is nice. There's also arrows on each module that tells you which way it has to go. They have a Lego-like uh, pegs on them, and the starter kit comes with a project board where you can in fact uh, put it onto the project product board and then you uh, plug in a supplied USB adapter and you can make something happen. So let's try to do that. So now we have the cloud bit, uh, the LED and the power module assembled on the breadboard and I'm going to attempt to apply some power and you'll notice that the red status light go, power light goes on and the status light kind of illuminates blue and what will happen is as it boots up it will start to blink green when it is hunting for Wi-Fi which it's doing now and then once it's locked onto your Wi-Fi network which you set up it will go steady green so when you first get it out of the box you will need to set up your Wi-Fi network with it and you do that uh, using a laptop or something that has Wi-Fi itself because what will happen is as you get it out of the box it will basically develop an ad hoc network to uh, receive your home networks security settings so it can log on to it. So now it's steady green it's logged in and Let's uh, move it so you can see the light. Here's the LED at the end of a long but stubborn cable. There we go. And uh, what I've done here is I've logged into the Little Bits control application. So what we're going to do is it's basically a button. And when I click on the button, the LED illuminates. And when I let go, it releases. So I click on it and it lights. So that's pretty huge because if you can make a light uh, light up based on internet control from a website anywhere in the world that means you can do other things such as flip a switch to do something, feed your fish or whatever you want to do. But there's a little bit of more sophistication that is available using the cloud bit which I'm going to show you next. Okay, so now I've configured the CloudBit module to receive an input. <clears throat> so what we have here is the power module, the button, which we're going to use as our input source, and the CloudBit module itself. The light is green, so we're connected to Wi-Fi. So this button pressing represents something happened here where the CloudBit is, and now we are going to make something happen on the Internet. So if you look uh, at the laptop screen, you see what looks like a speedometer. And basically, when we press this button, the needle is going to deflect to maximum. So, and now I let go and it goes back. So basically what this does is this is like a sensor being full on or off. But it gets a little more interesting than that with the uh, if this then that, which is basically accessible if you go to the automation. Okay, so now we have if something happens on the cloud bit then call my cell phone number with a pre-recorded message <clears throat> and the interesting thing is you can design certain aspects of the pre-recorded message what you want it to tell you 
So let's give that a try. So here's my cell phone and here is my cloud bit and I have my recipe set so I'm going to press the button. This is our event. It just happened and let's see if the phone will ring and if so how long will it take. And there it goes. So let's hear the pre-recorded message. So let's put on speaker. Hello Mike Hal 9000 received input April 6th 2015 at 8:45 p.m. Message brought to you by it. So basically it can tell you when the event occurred. So if you in place of the switch had the sound detection module you can put in here, then when there's, for example, a loud sound detected in your garage, you can have this make a phone call to you, for example. So there's various different modules and a lot of possibilities uh, of things you can build. And there's also a place where people upload recipes that they have sh shared with others. So there's a lot to explore here. So if you're interested in prototyping an internet-enabled invention, then you may want to check out the cloud bit. This whole kit, as of the time of this recording in April of 2015, costs about $100 and it comes with the LED light, it comes with a, uh, a little motor, a servo, and it comes with the, uh, the sound sensor, uh, which uh, comes with its own little adjustment tool so you can adjust the sensitivity of the sound. So uh, check it out and thanks again for checking out another episode of Inventor's Quick Tips.